বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না কামে কাজে দিন চলে যায় সময় আমার হইল না বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না কাজ করি ভাই সপ্তাহে ছয় দিন মগজে পীড়িতের নেশা ধারে দেশের ঋণ লক্ষ টাকার ঋণ লইয়া বেড়াই যৌবন জ্বালা সহে না বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না আমি কাজ দিন চলে যায় সময় আমার হইল না বিদেশে পীড়িত করলাম না অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই এম ফ্রম ভিলেজ আই এম না আই ওয়াজ এন ব্রট আপ ইন টাউন অর সিটি সামটাইম আই ওয়াজ টু লিসেন টু দ্য পিপল এট নাইট সিঙ্গিং ওয়াকিং অন দ্য রোড এন্ড সিঙ্গিং দ্য থিংস দ্যাট নেচার ইউজ টু গিভ মি দ্য ফিলিংস টু সিং One thing I want to tell you about that, because I wasn't working in t- Taylor, and that's, I like to keep it in my life. Sometimes I do that as well. I didn't forget that, what I did in my past. And my father told me, when you do past, don't forget it. Remember that. It will be helpful for in the future. In my, f- uh, my life, I suffer a lot, some time ago. But I'm not telling you exactly what I suffer, but as some uh, people told me, who knows, uh, brain is people. If you want to be successful in public, or if you want to be uh, famous, you have to suffer something, at least in your life. Then you, that's pushed you to up. Uh, Abdul Mukit is my friend, you can tell he's my friend or my brother because he's got my relatives also. And he and me used to live together. And he used to work in restaurant, I used to work in tailor. So in week, we met two days, three days. And he used to tell me the lyrics, meanings. What is the songs about? What is the, what is the feelings to put in the songs? Because I, mostly I sing his songs and put the tune. আমি সকালে সাধারণত সাড়ে দশটা পনেরো এগারোটার মধ্যে কাজ স্টার্ট করি এবং দুপুরে কিছু সময় পাই আমরা তিন ঘন্টার মতো অফ টাইম যেটাকে বলা হয় এবং ছয়টার থেকে আবার স্টার্ট হয় রাত্রে বারোটা সাড়ে বারোটা পর্যন্ত এখন ঘরে পৌঁছতে আমার একটা শো একটা বাজে
what about the poetry side? How do you do you have time when you can write? Yeah, actually, I to come to like a jono je shomoy dakhya seta ami thik pai ni. Majhe monte jeta ei kajer modhu hane kajer phake phake je shomoy ta pai. Seta thi ami hane kajer thekho ami kisu pori. Ato bahu pori kio je dui ghanta arai ghanta shomoy pai se shomoy ta kisu kisu boi pori apna like a chaste kori. Yes. काज शेष करे रात है कि ये अब अगर घूमें शोमाएं घूमते हैं या वर्षा का लेकर जा सकते हैं शेष शोमें टाइम पाव जाएगा। I see you got some of your books here। हैं ऐसे ना किसी बुक मैं देखे थे जब हम काज ना था क्या तो हमने मैं दूसरे एक टाइप पढ़ी एक टाइप देखी काज एक बार के बारे में तो समाज में तो मशहूर दवा है पढ़ते शुर do you read that? Yeah, I mean... Have you got any favorite pieces in there which you... Yeah, Robin Wall Tagore is all about it. I read it and read 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 it. भावे तुम्हें तार के लिए बार धन शुद्ध अगबोर अगबोधु जाने न कोरी थे शाज केश पेश तार होले एकाकार मोने न ही माने लाज दिने शतो बार भंगिया गोड़िया धुला दिया घर रोचना कोरिया भावे मोने मोने शादी ची आपून घर करो निरकाज जाने न कोरी थे शाज ताचर आरोहाचे भल भल को बिता अब तो केवल फील करें हमारे साथ दारुण भाव लगे एवं मने अनुशीलन बोलते जेटा बोझा एटिक रोमेनुनात पढ़ले शोतेनुनात पढ़ले नज़ुल पढ़ले हमरा पाई एवं शाहन थे कि हमार कोई तो लाखर बाप ये गुलो पाव जाए रखे कुराक गुलो पाव जाने शुमे एवं निजत्ते कि लाखर शादन तो निजत्ते कि है मने पढ़ते है जेतु गुरु को भी तर Sort of, do you get time to write? Yes, I don't have time to write. But I don't have time to write. 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 Do you think that you are a good person? ब्रून होते भूमि स्टोया खाने, जीवन माने जुद्दे रोनों तो शोचना। भात्र बोरो शहर जोरो जोरो बिशागात, धीरे-धीरे बालो लगे, ये माटी रामंत्रों। कंक्रीट में सब ब्रिक लेने आरोस्टो शागतों, बालो लगे तो खातो का मेगा मोए भी बोर नो आकाश, बाता शीर्दम कवाजी, लेदर फैक्टरी गोमोट गंदो, जीवन मने शंग्राम प्रागोइति हर्षिक ऐखने ओखने तो बु निर्बाशित व्यस्तता मोष्चिदेर मधु राजान धोनी पाथर बंगा ड्रिलेर चितकार शंकोचिलेर मधु पुलिस कप्तारे रुराउडी भालो लागे चलोन तो ट्यू बेर भी कंपोशी हरोन बड़ो आंतरी के ब्रिकले नेर समस्त आयोजन कित्री में बौशुदार बुके तो बु शेड्य पाकी यार फूलेरे राता कृष्ण बिनु दोन इरी दोए दुलादे यामार जो बनेरे वाशी जीवन मने जो बनेरे शांतो बैठतो था आशीनेरे जोलशीरे शुरू मारे गुंजरों ने बेश जाए मैगेरे पीछे पीछे शुनी लेर मोतो मोना मार शाराखोन शुन्ने रोहिजात्री प्रोबाशी निश्चंगो तर आगती आमी जिनो माजे माजे ब्लाक भांगा गोरा पाथोरीर कातोर टुक्रुगुलु कोथा बोले ओनी बार ओबातु शांतोनाय ओनंतो माटी रेजी प्रगारु आवेदन आपोन ऐखाने आमार शकुली आपोन धन्यवाद आमदेर एर पौरेर कभी होच्छेन सैयद बिलाल ऐतो जोधी पीरित शकी बोलते केनो दीदा आमी पाशाद जुबोक नोई मानुष शादाशीदा बुझते पारी गुमरे कादो बोलते दीदा होए तो बो कहते जेचे जाबार मानुष आमी नोए प्रेम पीरिति शोमन शोमन ए नीति टा जानी जुगल प्रेमेर पोरीनोती पुन्नोता पाए मानी नवर
We have people from various backgrounds. We have people, working class people, middle class people. I mean, in terms of Bengali society, I'm talking, not in English terms. But people, professional people, working class people, all sorts of people come here. People can say that, you know, now that you've come to Britain, you should forget about Bengali and just let the kids learn English. And what's the point? point there are points. British people lived in India for 200 years. And they didn't leave their language. And it's no good leaving your own identity. It's not only that we're conspicuous by our own color. We're conspicuous by our culture. We, we have brought with us, with us not only our color, we have brought our language, we have brought our literature. Bengali li literature is, uh, has a treasure of 1,000 years. It's 1,000 years old literature and language. Not only that. If somebody knows his or her roots, then that person is more confident about the world than anybody, the person who doesn't know. So I think people should be made aware of their original cultural roots, religious roots, or other roots they have. আর কয়রা মাত্র দিন সবুর কর শুকুরি আমি সবুর করলাম ফিরা আইলা তুমি গেলা যুদ্ধে আবার ফিরলা কইলা দেখ খালি আমি ফিরে আই নাই তোর লাইগাও আনছি সামনে মেইলা ধরলা সাইড দিকে কোসি ধানের লাহান সবুজ আর মধ্যে বেলা উড়নের লাহান টুকটুকে লাল একটা সূর্য দেখ তোর লাইগা মানচিত্র আনছি আমি জেল দেখলাম আমি যুদ্ধ দেখলাম আমি মানচিত্র দেখলাম ভুইল্লা গেলাম জগৎ সংসার ভুইল্লা গেলাম জোয়ান তরতাজা পোলাডার লাস্টার কথা ভুইল্লা গেলাম কষি মাইয়া ডারে টাইনা লইয়া গেল শুয়রের বাচ্চারা চোখের সামনে উহ ভুইল্লা গেলাম ফিনকি দেওয়া লহুল্লাহান গনগনে পুরা বাড়িটার কথা ভুইল্লা গেলাম সব কচি লাউয়ের ডগার লাহান জড়াইয়া দৈরা কইলা সবুর কর শুকুরি সব হইব আমি সবুর করলাম ওইতে ওইতে কালা চুল সাদা হইয়া গেল চোখে পড়লো সানি ওইতে ওইতে তুমি ওইলা হাড্ডিসা শরীরে জমলো গ্রামের লবণ আস্তর ওইতে ওইতে পেটের মধ্যে বাঁধলাম পাথর আর কি হইব আমি আর কত সবুর করব আমি আর কত সবুর করব আর কত সবুর করব And um, I came over to this country <coughs> um, with my mother and my brothers and sisters in 1976. And um, we sort of settled in East London, Central Street. But as um, soon, as, soon as I sort of landed from the plane, I didn't like it. Because um, I didn't even like the houses. I didn't like what, where our father bought us. My, my mother didn't like it. I don't know about my brothers and sisters, but the stories I was told in Bangladesh were totally different from when I came and found out in here. And um, although I was small, I did understand everything. But then, like, the houses were, like, the houses were to me like a prison. And back Bangladesh, where, where I was brought up, like, although like, I was only about six or seven, Everything was like open, a lot, lot of spaces to play about. But in here, it was nothing, and it was, re it was really cold. That one of the things really like, shocked me, because w where I come from, it's really hot. And, um, but I couldn't, I couldn't say nothing to anybody, because I was small and nobody would listen to me, even now, if I wanted to say something. And my mother didn't like it either. But I wanted to go back. But then again, my father said it's not easy to go back because of the money spent and everything. I was, I was totally isolated because there's no friends. There's no other, like, there were like other Bangladeshi families. But then again, like, I mean, what am I supposed to do with families? I need, like, friends. And I, I, I didn't like it. My family life was very hard for me, but then they didn't understand me. And even the relatives or friends, they didn't understand me. They wanted me to devote myself. I know I have, I have a lot of respect for my family. I still have. But then it's a shame they didn't try to understand me. 
So for you as an individual, um, what place do culture and religion hold in your life now? When I was at home, I didn't know what culture meant. I, I did know what religion meant. But then a lot of, a lot of the information about religion was, was wrong, given wrong to me. Like, for example, oh, girls can't do this, they have to get married. Or, like, you can't, you can't go out. But now it means a lot to me. I try, try to put it in practice, and my, I have a lot of respect more for, for, my, uh, for my religion. Although that I don't practice it a lot, but I believe in it. And I'm trying to find out the right, the right information about my religion, not what other people say, and find my rights, my rights as a woman. For me, uh, like my religion is Islam. And now I come to the term that I, it's only me who's going to have to find out about it, not what other people say. So where do you live now? Well, um, I've got my own flat and I'm living away from home, separately from my parents. And the reasons for that is I had different beliefs and they had different beliefs. And my thinking to their thinking was totally different. What I wanted to do in life didn't meet with what my family wanted to do. So that was one of the reasons. And I, even though I'm living away from home, I'm, I'm proud. I'm really proud because I've succeeded in, succeeded in what I wanted to do and still will carry on and prove to the people and my relatives and my family that a woman can do whatever she wants to do. My name is Nur al-Islam. Uh, I came with my parents in this country. I wasn't born here. That's what you want to know. I was born in Bangladesh, a district called Silet. So what happened when you first came? You know, where did you go? Where did I go? I went to school in this country. I came in Sheffield. I lived with my parents in Sheffield for first for, for the first year. When I went to school in East London, I saw I'm in a different atmosphere than in Sheffield. Because up there in Sheffield, everybody was friendly. Teachers, students, they were very friendly. And it's like, you can get on with them. I don't know why was that, but here, when I came here, I saw that uh, I'm alone here. I can't be friendly with anyone, because they don't want to be. The people in the school doesn't want to be friendly with you. Because when I saw the first assembly hall, first assembly, when I came out of the assembly, I saw youths standing behind the car, uh, assembly hall door, waiting for us to pass by. And they can spit on us. They can hit us on the head, because they were taller than us. And they were like punks. Then he had hair on the side of their head, because they had shaved. And, and it's very strange things to, for, to us. That's how they treated us. So how did you respond? I didn't take it. I responded very badly to them back. Even though I'm alone, I did get beaten up. But I didn't let them get away with it. Same time I did go over them again. Because they won't be alone attacking you. They will be in groups, five or six, ten, even more. If they can't get you at school, they wait for you outside the gate after school. 
that's what really went for, for my whole four years. So did you think of dropping out of school altogether? I mean, well, why should I drop out of school? Because I, I won't be educated if I don't, if I just drop out of school. But do, did people do that as a... Yeah, a lot of people bunked off, afraid. A lot of people missed classes. A lot of my friends did miss classes. And I see them now. They even can't talk properly. They can, can't speak English properly. I did try my very best to get on with it. And I did see that I'm not getting anywhere. So at that time, someone offered me in a factory, a job offered. I said, all right, I'll come and do I'll What kind of work. factory? And how, how long do you work? I mean, how many? It, it's a leather factory. I'm working in a leather factory at this very moment. This is a season for the leather. I'm not, uh, not going to be working in factories after two months or three months. I'll be working in restaurants. That's my last option, because I can't get jobs anywhere else. <laughs> Were you born in this country? I was country? born in this country, yes. London Hospital, to be exact. <laughs> so you've always lived in this area? Yeah, I was always lived in this area. So tell me about how you've, where you went to school and what happened. Well, I went to about three primary schools and one secondary school. That's about it. I mean... We used to get a sort of trouble, like, from the white boys. They used to, you know, they used to like our colour. They used to push us around, call us packy, this and that, you know. And um, it was really hard for us, like, you know, when you go outside, they're all, they, you're on the beginning of the queue, they come and push you back. You know, they, they, you eating your food, they're throwing chips at you, you know, they're taking your stool away, they're kicking you, punching you. It's like a bullying job, you know what I mean? You know? It came to a point where we couldn't take it anymore, you get me? We told the teachers, teachers didn't used to care, you know. Sometimes they did take notice, but most of the time they didn't, you know. I mean, first couple of times I tried to tell the teacher that these guys starting on me and this and that for nothing. Teachers won't listen to us. It was hard to us for explaining it to them as well. But after though we explained it to them, they didn't care, they goes, come back tomorrow. If the boy is waiting for you at the corridor today, what's the worth coming back tomorrow? So the next day you're afraid to come back into school. But I wasn't, I wasn't kind of afraid, you get me? We had a teacher called Miss Tiger. I, don't, so I, don't, I haven't seen her for years, you know. She told us, like, you know, when teachers don't take notice of you, you might as well take notice of yourself. You, know, you might as well, you know, hit back when you're getting hit. You know, it's no worth falling back, you know, even if you get in trouble. So we thought we'd get into a little pussy. We didn't used to go and cause trouble. We were always in the right side. As soon as they start hitting us, we was you know, trying to defend ourselves, hitting back when we had to hit them back. Because then we didn't, there was about seven, 17, 18 of us, and there was a school full of white boys. We didn't have no chances at all. You know. We did used to get beat, but we used to get beat with pride, you get me? Like, you know, you get hit 10 times, you hit them once, you know. But then again, we used to get suspended, expelled from the school. Our parents used to come, you know. Did it happen to you? I mean, were you it happened to me so many times. Like I mean, what? I most probably got, even at this point, I've got about over 250 stitches on my head, you know. I used to get hammered, chisels, knife, you know. 
I've got cuts and bruises everywhere in my body. Now I'm thinking a different way. I wish they could have started on me now, you get me? Yeah. I mean, if the law wouldn't take care of it, I know, you know. But you can't blame the law, because, I mean, they only, they only work, work on evidence, you know what I mean? They don't know the fact. So, when did you leave school? I left school when I was uh, 17. I went to sixth form for one year. I think it was 1986 when I left school. I went back home, stayed there for about a year, come back. I wanted to go back to college, but I fall, fall back on education so much and just started work. So do you feel Bangladeshi or do you feel English yourself? Well, see, <laughs> I'm the both. I've got to tell you this now, because I experienced so much. I'm the both. I know every single bit and piece about Bengali culture and speaking, talking, and language. And everything, I can, I mean, I know everything. I know everything about the English culture as well. So, my, I don't speak English with my parents, even though if they can speak English, I don't speak English with them, I speak Bengali, because that's the respect I've got to show with them. Plus, I, the way I've got to treat myself at home is I'm a Bengali person. When I come outside to my Beng English society, then I'm English, you get me? It doesn't mean I have to go with, I go in them with the pub, I do go in the pub with them, in the you know, disco clubs and this and that, the parties and this and that. But it doesn't mean they drink and I drink. I don't drink because I'm a Muslim. That's what I've got to defend. Like, I always wanted to do martial arts since I was a little kid. But when I was a little kid, about eight, nine years old, I used to you know, watch those films and I said, I'm going to go back to China and learn that in two months, come back and I'm the business. But that's not how it goes. You know, <clears throat> now I know that's, that's not it. Mm. So how long have you been doing this? I've, I've done Kung Fu for about three years. That was my first start when I learned. Then I switched into kickboxing. I've done kickboxing about two and a half years, maybe more. Do you go to a club or something? Yeah, I go to a club. It's in Bethnal Green. It's called Oxford Ice Kickboxing Club. You know, I've got, I've got a friend there. You know, he's, he's my teacher as well as he's my friend. My dad, when he came back, came in this country, he used, he used to work in a cast, ca cast iron industry. He used to do a lot of casting, you know what I mean, by casting and you know, yeah. pipes and all that stuff. Then he worked in a cotton mill, and then he worked in a building, you know, building buildings and all that. Now, then he came back working in a leather factory, you get me? So, you don't know where, where you're going to end yourself, but. Some people's got some targets, ambitions to come true, you know. Borgir Hangamar kotha tumader mone ache. Borgir Hangamar shomoy nawab ali buddhir shonge shonge shomore shibire diboshe nishite. আমিও কি ছুটে বেড়াইনি আমার হাতের উন্মুক্ত তরবারি কি মারাঠাদস্যুদের উদ্ধত শির দ্বিখণ্ডিত করেনি বাংলার প্রজাকুল যাতে না সর্বহারা হয় তোমাদের সুখের সংসার যাতে না ভাস্কর পণ্ডিতের রোশানলে ভস্যবিত হয় তোমাদের সন্তান সন্ততি যাতে না কীট পতঙ্গের মতো অকালে প্রাণ বলি দিতে বাধ্য হয় তারই জন্য বিশ্বাস করো ভাই সব শুধু তারই জন্য যৌবনের দুর্নিবার আকর্ষণ উপেক্ষা করে বাংলা বিহার উড়িষ্যার পথে প্রান্তরে সমর ক্ষেত্রে উলকার মতো আমি ছুটে বেরিয়েছি তারই কি পুরস্কার এই ছিন্ন পাদুকা তারই কি পুরস্কার এই কঙ্কটাকীর্ণ আসন তারই কি পুরস্কার এই তস্কর লভ্য লাঞ্ছনা এইভাবে যে সিরাজুদ্দোল্লা যখন স্পিচটা দিল এই যে গলাটা ভাঙলো এটা আরও যখন রিয়েল স্টেজে আমরা করি তখন আরও ভেঙে দেয় এখন শুধু আপনাদেরকে দেখানোর জন্য বললাম যেইভাবে যে গলাটা ভেঙে দিলাম এই সিরাজুদ্দোল্লা নাটকের একটা অংশ দেবো আমরা যখনই ঐতিহাসিক নাটক করি আমাদের ধারণা রাজা রানী এরা সবসময় বোধ কথা বলে গম্ভীরভাবে আমরা কেউ জানি না তারা কিভাবে 
তাদের প্রাইভেট লাইফে কথা বলে কিন্তু আমরা এটা ধরে নিয়েছি ব্যাক হোম সাম পিপল অর ব্রাদার্স এ সাম ডিরেক্টরস থিং দ্য গুড প্লে অর এ গুড ড্রামা ইজ ফর ইন্টেলেকচুয়াল পিপল আই ডোন্ট বিলিভ ইন দোজ থিং মাই প্লে ইজ ফর এভরিবডি ফর মাস অডিয়েন্স সো দ্যাট এভরিবডি ক্যান কাম অ্যান্ড এনজয় মাই শোজ ফ্রম এ লেভার টু এ টপ বস দে ক্যান অল কাম অ্যান্ড এনজয় মাই শোজ বা বা ওভাবে নয় একটু এই আপনারা ভালো পারবেন বুঝেন না একটু এইভাবে গলাটাকে বেঁকিয়ে দিন বা 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 বিউটি 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 হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ নিজের মন কি একবার জিজ্ঞেস করে দেখো তোমার বাদাম খাওয়ার ইচ্ছু হয়েছিল আমাকে বললেই পারতে আমি তোমাকে তিন দিন ভাত না খাইয়ে বাদাম খাইয়ে রাখতাম না না অমন তুমি চলে যাও তুমি চলে যাও আমার এই পনেরো বছরের কিশোরী মনে যে গন্ধরাজ ফুল তুমি ফুটিয়েছিলে তার ঘেটু ফুল হয়ে গেছে ইটস এ ফানি থিং ইউ ওন বিলিভ দ্যাট হোয়েন আই ফার্স্ট স্টার্টেড টু ডুইং প্লেস ইন দিস এরিয়া আই ফাইন্ড দ্যাট ইন দিস এরিয়া আওয়ার কমিউনিটি পিপল ওয়ান্ট টু শিপ সি ভ্যারাইটি শোজ ডান্স মিউজিক নট দ্য প্লে দেন আই স্টার্ট ডুইং মাই প্লেস ইন্ট্রোডিউসিং ডান্স and music in my place and sometimes it not it's not necessary to do a dance in my play but i used to do it for my people to come and then they start talking let's go and see the slims play because there will be a dance and the same people now after a couple of years they are telling me the slim bhai don't put any dance in this play that means they now want to see the play not the dance naika shekha putti jor kore dhore rakhi brishtir bhitore naika jacche shopha মুহূর্তা But if you see a Finnish play, you won't recognize them. These are the boys from tailoring factories or restaurants. That is my... I, mean, I find it very interesting in East London, especially in this Whitechapel Center, to work with these boys. And if I can give something about drama, I'm happy. Because I always want to teach people what I know. Yes, I কমিউনিটি <laughs> সেন্টার <laughs> 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 আমার টুপি কোথায় তাইলে মনোযোগ দিয়ে কান খুলে শুনো কি শুনবার এ গুণাগার মমিন গন কাল রাইতে আমি যখন ঢুস খেয়ে চোখ খোয়ালাম খনি দেখলাম যে আমার টুপির ভিতরে আর আমার কি নাই বাপা খাও না আতিকা আতিকা হমন দিস্তা খেলো ঠিক তখনই দেখলাম যে আমার টুপির মধ্যে একটা সাদা বিলাই তিনটি বাচ্চাও জীবন করেছে একটি কথা একটি ধোলা একটি কুসকুসে কালা রে বান্দা মুসলমান গেয়ারম্যানের টুপির মধ্যে বিলাই দুধের মধ্যে সার পোকা বন্যার মধ্যে ব্যাঙ্ক সহ্য হইল না 
তখন আমি সেই টুপি জানলা দিয়ে বহু দূরে পাক মেরে নিক্ষেপ করলাম রে বান্দা মুসলমান গন কত বড় ত্যাগ কত বড় নিক্ষেপ আরে কত বড় ইমান রে দেশবাসী ভাই তাহলে ওরে বান্দা মুসলমান গন কি করবা রে তোমরা বৈশে পড়ো আর সিনেমাটোগ্রাফি বিন ইন দিস কান্ট্রি ফর এ কনসিডারেবল নাম্বার অফ ইয়ার্স আফটার আই ফিনিশ মাই কোর্স সিনেমাটোগ্রাফি ওয়াজ সাপোজ টু গো ব্যাক হোম বা ডিউ টু সাম অফ মাই পার্সোনাল প্রবলেম আই ডিন গো ক্যান ইউ টেল মি সামথিং অ্যাবাউট what you felt like when you first came here amar kache ashole totome ashole bhalo lageni am desh chere eshi ei jinish ti amar kache beshi agat koreche bhalo lage tarpor aste 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 maniye nite hoy ebong maniyo niyechi tobe desher proti beshi tan shobshomoy thake so how do you feel about it now এখন ভালোই লাগছে এখন বেশ ভালোই লাগছে কারণ সেটা আসলে বলা কঠিন তবে ভালো লাগছে এই জন্য এখন সংসারী হয়ে গেছি সব নিয়ে এখানে আছি এবং অনেকটা নিজের দেশের মতোই মনে হচ্ছে এই দেশকে প্রচুর বাঙালি এখানে আছে প্রচুর নিজের দেশের একটা গন্ধ পাওয়া যাচ্ছে এই এরিয়া এলাকাতে এই জন্য এখন ভালোই লাগছে I think uh, well, all of us, when we first came here, first impression was not very good. And uh, once we started uh, getting on, and we made a lot of friends, and now we have a big Bangladeshi communities, right? So that's the difference. Right, so you feel that you have yeah. an audience also yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about it? Uh, if you come say if you come sunday or saturday in britlain area or east london you'll see always something going on some cultural program some dramas you know so lots of right. people around mm-hmm. and uh, and you, if you go to bookshops you'll see bookshop full of uh, bangladeshi magazines and newspapers newspapers published in this country is five or five or six Bengali weekly is published from this country. So it's a, it's a large number of Bangladeshi communities and the atmosphere is different than 14 years or 15 years ago. আসামে বাসা বেঁধেছি 
I came in this country in 1966 and uh, shortly after my arrival I moved in this area. The condition was so bad. But that was this general situation right across this area. I was a machinist at a clothing factory and subsequently I was a machinist at a leather factory making uh, joining pieces of a leather coat, leather garment. And that was my very early job. But subsequently, I managed to form a co-op workshop where uh, uh, something like a 35 of us were working together. And uh, the idea was that we pool resources from all corners, and then we maximize our production. And then the, uh, we distribute if there is any profit or even the overheads. So the turnover, whatever it was, the amount, we really distributed amongst these 35 peoples after taking away PYE, the rent and the fixed cost and so on. I was very determined from the very beginning that I want to finish my further education, completing all levels and high levels, and then going to pursue a degree course. And of course, I worked very, very hard. I attended evening classes, daytime classes. Evening classes first to improve my English. Evening classes to, to, to complete my O-level classes. In 1979, when the Tory government came to power, we all are living, when I say we, there were many other of my fellow countrymen, Asian people, living in winter dwelling. And the condition was such that one cannot describe so filthy, despicable. The state of affairs was so bad that the postman decided not to deliver any mail, any letters there. And we are advised to go and collect our individual letters from post office. And somebody put this idea about forming a housing association, a housing co-op. And I think that idea was um, welcome by everybody. And of course, there was a lot of uh, official uh, bureaucratic work, which we did. And we formed this organization, Spiralville Housing Co-op. It is now the second largest housing association in Spitalfields. Now, I have been here nearly 26 or about 26 years. We went through, I went through good and bad, struggle, survive, and so on. But I believe that the kind of problems I encountered on my arrival in this country is not so much there. There are still problems around but problems, even problems become more sophisticated and complicated to deal with. But this blatant racist attack and the authorities dealing with the black people, with Asian people as a subhuman being, I believe, we have overcome. We cannot change people's view overnight. It takes time. employment voucher in this country, 1963. Have you always lived in this area? Uh, yes, Where? East London. Uh, I've been always working in East London. I've been living somewhere in 
first I was living in Dulwich in South London, but still uh, I used to come and take a job in Eastern. My first job was in Ali Street, right? Then I was in working Fashion Street. Then I started my own business in 1964, end of 64, in Prince Alex Street. How important is the tailoring business? It in is the important community. in the Bangladeshi community because uh, for myself, I'm saying, could be other people like me as well because uh, we didn't come with any experience. And since we come, we found it easy, the tailoring trade, and we got into it. We were working somebody as a machiner, some people as a carter, some as a press, or whoever it is. And they were passing comfortably, like, and didn't think to take any other job or go anywhere else. So we are staying and working in the same places. Some year is bad for somebody, but uh, we always can wait. Maybe next year is better. This is the way we're doing. So, do you think that new development of the city will have an effect on the people, uh, small traders? Yes, I think uh, it will affect us because uh, we are small uh, business people. We always look for small rent, cheap rent rate and this kind of things. But when the developer coming, they're building a new buildings, offices, so many offices will come and the office rent, they're in a small room, they can earn so much money but on the tailoring trade, we can't, we can't compare them. This trade, they're going to be disasters, like sp spoiling, you know. We can't see any light for the future. It's very dark future coming. So what will happen to the people who live and work? Uh, if people uh, don't have a job and don't have a place for work, like, they can't start a small business. People can't work what they used to do. Or automatically they have to go in the dull queue or something like where they can go. What will you do? What do you plan to do? What I will do, I'm trying and trying my best to stay in this trade, keep going on. And last of all, if I cannot do it, I have to do the same thing, obviously. I have to go to signing the unemployment office. Rajirani Mohashuki Rang Maholai Shonali Prohor Gune Din Kete Jai Rajirani Mohashuki Rang Maholai Shonali Prohor Gune Din Kete Jai Bashonar Bij Bune Hajaru Manus Bashonar Bij Bune Hajaru Ashani Bashabi Titi Shopni Rajpuri London Shahuri Ekbu Ashani Bashabi Titi This big office complex on the other side of the market cross Bishop Gate. So the market is going to be like one of those uh, broad gate office development. And in five years' time, who knows what will happen in this area. So the market is going away from here. I believe very firmly that if we do not resist this systematic development with a constructive ideas and proposal, the whole community will be destroyed. Because people who are putting their money for profit, they do not have any idea, any view about this community. The community has yielded a number of other amenities, social, cultural, political, 
economic organization. It's like an extended family helping one another, cooperating with one another, listening one's views and one's sudden story or one's happy story. So if this community is pushed out from this area, this area will turn into a jungle. Videshe pirit parilamna, videshe pirit parilamna, videshe 